Hello, I'm Andrew Hess. I'm the Assistive Technology Specialist for the District, and I'm speaking with the evaluation team about the MSF grant on teleassessment resources. Cecilia Nyon, bilingual school psychologist on the initial evaluation team. Tamara Naparstak, bilingual speech language pathologist on the initial evaluation team. Tamara, can you provide us with an overview of the resources that were purchased as a result of the MSF grant? Sure, the grant included the purchasing of the Dolls Plus licensing software. That included Q Global and Q Interactive. Q Global is the platform that we're using for remote or for teleassessments and also allows us to do online scoring. Q Interactive is the tool we're using with the iPads for in-person digital assessments. It also allows for quick administration and uh, automatic scoring. The grant also included 20 iPads, which allow 10 evaluators to do digital in-person assessments. There was a delay in receiving the iPads, but this didn't install our ability to start using Q Global immediately for teleassessments. Uh, the grant also included live professional development. Uh, this is going to be used to focus in on the areas of need uh, or continued learning after we have more experience with using these tools. Cecilia, what have you learned? So although the purpose of the grant was specifically for teleassessment, we found that its value has been much broader. Q Global is a tool that we already had access to in a much more significant limited scope. And what we found uh, through Q, Q Global is that we have access to PDF stimulus books for a wider and much wider range of tests than we did have previously that we can utilize both for remote testing and as well as in-person testing um, and, in, in, and to be flexible through a variety of different um, scenarios that might be currently the case. Um, we have been able to share our screen on Zoom and administer tests. We've been able to have access to so much research, current research on validity and reliability of teleassessments, um, and also been able to explore a different language needed to describe teleassessments within reports. In terms of Q Interactive, we've learned how to create and assign assessments to individual children. It's, we've found that it's very motivating, particularly for some students who may have a harder time engaging and staying focused in the traditional format. Uh, we've also learned how to score reports and generate reports um, quickly and automatically. Not only has it allowed us um, to learn about Q Global and the Q Interactive, but we've also been able to broaden our learning on other digital assessment tools that are available through other platforms, um, just by the nature of having learned more about uh, the Pearson supports that we have. Tamara, how are some of the ways that staff are being trained in the use of these tools? Yeah, so we've sort of followed a cascade of professional development, starting first with administration, then moving on to the department chairs for psychology, speech language pathology, and special education teachers. Um, and then moving on to those individual departments. And we've also worked one-on-one -on -one with some of the teachers as needed. We've shared video tutorials with the teachers as well as resources for how to conduct remote and digital assessments, including best practices within our respective professions. We've also shared case studies by looking at score reports along with the interpretation, which can be generated by the software purchased with the grant, and then how that information can be used to enhance our own report writing. Cecilia. Can you speak to how you see these tools living on long after the health crisis is over? So although we're hopeful that this pandemic will end, um, preferably immediately, there's no doubt that we are going to uh, be using these tools for, from now on. Q Global and Q Interactive have actually been tools that have been in existence for quite a long time, even before the pandemic. Um, and this has only sort of catapulted us into being able to use them through the generosity of, of MSF. So uh, we certainly think, know that even moving forward past the pandemic, 
Um, there'll be cases with children who may not necessarily be attending our, our schools, who may be attending non-public schools or be parentally placed elsewhere, where it may be more convenient for the child and for the family to complete testing remotely. Um, in addition, it's clear that it, we're going to continue to use the iPads and the interactive and digital assessments with children, even in our district, because it increases the speed and the accuracy of completing assessments, and it definitely uh, improves the motivation of, of many students. Um, in, in addition, we also have access to so many new tools that we did not have before. So um, on Q Global alone, through our resource library, we have access to 43 tests. That is uh, significantly more than what we had before. Thank you. Are there any other comments you would like to add? Yeah, um, I'd like to say that starting this school year, while we were still in the middle of the COVID-19 health crisis, it was very overwhelming for all teachers and staff. And for us on the initial evaluation team, it really meant how would we be able to manage the evaluations within the constraints of hybrid learning, remote learning, and on and off quarantines of both teachers and students. So, you know, beginning something new can always be challenging, but once Cecilia and I just got our feet wet into Q Global and Q Interactive and started exploring those materials, we really took off with it. It made all of the assessments easier and faster and also allowed us the flexibility to complete tele-assessments and maintain compliance within the regulations of New York State special education. And I'll just add and end with the fact that Tamara and I have uh, spent so much time on these resources, learning, um, training ourselves, and trying to turnkey that training to, to our colleagues. And we have found it extremely professionally inspiring. Um, it's been really very rewarding, and, um, and I'm sure will continue to be so. So thank you so much. Thank you both.